everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. I am so excited for today's Decades episode because we are going to be hanging out with Samuel and Elsie and it has been a while since we checked in on these two and I am so excited to have uh, some really good family bonding time with this little household. So I hope you're all looking forward to it. But before we jump into the game today, I wanted to quickly mention that I just posted a build challenge on the community tab on my YouTube page. Um, during our live streams last week, us as a community were coming up with different ideas and one of the things that came out of the brainstorming session was the Decorate Decades Challenge. So what I want to see from all of you if you feel like it is a time period based build and we will go and do live stream tours at the end of the month so head over to the community tab to check out all of the details for this month's challenge and I cannot wait to see what all of you create uh, and without further ado let's go ahead and jump into today's video she's my kind of woman I need a soul Okay, so as you can see, you guys are all probably, you're all probably like, um, Samantha, whose house is this? So this is actually the new household of Elsie and Samuel. As we all know, Samuel's family is got a lot of bank. <laughs> they are pretty well off and they, after uh, Winston and Hannah found out that their son was alive, um, Maybe a little depressed, but definitely alive. Look at him just lounging in the pool. Oh, Samuel, all of his scars, but still looking super fine if you ask me. But anyways, um, they wanted to kind of make it up to him. So he, them as a family, wanted to purchase a nice big home for him and his wife where they can have their family and raise their children. So obviously, Elsie is probably you know, feeling a little bit shocked, a little bit overwhelmed by the generousness and the kindness that his family has given them. But also, you know, she hasn't had the greatest relationship with his family. So I'm sure it's really hard for her to accept help from them. Um, so I think that this is definitely something that has been a little bit challenging for her, you know, accepting a handout almost. But Samuel always wanted that from her, for her. You know, before he left for war, he said, please tell my parents about the kids. I really want to make sure that they get looked after and you get looked after before I leave for war. And oh, she just gave him a kiss. She promised to him that she would do that, but she actually never did because she didn't feel like it was the right thing to do. Um, so Elsie definitely struggled with that for a little bit. But that being said, um, I think she's definitely really happy to be in her new family home. Now, this build I got off the gallery, it is not exactly time appropriate, so we will have to make some adjustments here. But we do have two bedrooms and we also have an art room here, which I totally love because obviously Elsie, we want her to be the artist in the house. So I really love the fact that there is a really cute art room. So there's their bedroom, nothing fancy, but at least we have a room for them. And they do have the pool out back. And I, like I said, I'm really happy that Elsie has her room, um, her painting room. If you saw one of the live streams I was talking and I did a little bit of an overview of little Samuel, but we haven't actually seen him um, in create a sim in a video so i am gonna go open up create a sim so you can see his makeover so because samuel was a prisoner of war and survived that experience we did go ahead and give him the negative trait <laughs> it's not really a negative trait but we gave him vegetarian and the reason why we did that was because uh one of our community members chris actually mentioned to me that um their great grandfather was a prisoner of war and and during their his t during the grandfather's time in the prison the prison uh, he had to eat corn over and over again like that's basically all they fed him so when he got back he did not like corn anymore obviously so I thought I could give him vegetarian just to make it seem like he is a picky eater now like something has happened where he you know had to eat all this 
one type of food and I thought the vegetarian treat would kind of help us translate that a little bit. And as you can see, I've actually added some scars on his face. You know, he's really been through it. So I've actually given him grown out hair. He's got a little bit of facial hair and he's a lot more casual than he used to be. Uh, if you remember, Samuel was always pretty put together in really nice suits that his father would buy for him. And he's just not that person anymore. Anymore. Um, and I wanted to reflect that, you know, there's a lot that has happened with Samuel and he's actually changed quite a bit during his time away from his family. So I think he is really cute though. I actually prefer Samuel with all the scars and the beard. I think he's so handsome. I got a real big crush. I ain't gonna lie. But I just wanted to quickly show you him. So we will go ahead and jump back into the episode. Okay, so we are back in the house. What is Elsie working on? I hope she's cooking something vegetarian. I could see Elsie starting to struggle also because she was so used to having Doris around helping her with the kids and now it's her and Samuel and they have haven't parented together before so you know I'm sure Elsie has developed her own way of parenting and dealing with the kids and really relying on Doris and Samuel has no experience really being an active father so I do think that it's going to be really a struggle for them as a family. Um, I'm gonna have um, Elsie make vegetarian dumplings for dinner that way it is food that is safe for um, Samuel to eat. I'm actually gonna have Samuel come over here and parent um, Max. Um, I'm gonna have him actually do it really strictly and yell at him for making a mess because I feel like Elsie is a creative person. She's a lot different with how she deals with it. I feel like Samuel might have a little bit of pent up anger and may deal with things a little bit more strictly, especially because his father was really strict. So um, can we encourage him influence to clean up the mess? There we go. So he told him to stop acting childish and to clean up his mess. Now I can see Max and um, I can see Max and Samuel really butting heads because I think Samuel and Max are almost um, similar in their personality traits. Um, so I think they both really um, clash a lot because they both think that they're right all the time. Um, whereas Elijah, I think he's more of a mama's boy and also like looks up to his father and wants to do everything perfect and right for his family. Um, speaking of which, it is almost eight o'clock and I wanted to see if he has done his homework. He hasn't. So I am going to get him to do his homework and I'm going to actually get Samuel to tell uh, Max to do his homework. So he's going to be like, now that you're done making a mess and you've cleaned up after yourself, do your homework. So I think that Max is really going to start, you know, this is just like the start of Max and his father bumping heads. Like dad's always really hard on me. He's always giving me such a hard time. I'm really annoyed with him. You know, mom never put this much pressure on me. And a big part of it too is that mom didn't put that much pressure on Max because of the fact that she had to work a full-time job. So I feel like Samuel isn't a bad parent. He's just wanting to be more active and he doesn't know how to do it and he thinks you know oh well, I just have to make sure they need to do all the things that they got to do you know so I think for a while it's gonna be um, a little bit of a learning curve for him how is she doing for work so she is an apprentice of algorithm algo, algorithms she makes $38 an hour she's actually doing really good but she needs to reach level three robotics so we're actually going to have to get her the robotics table not really sure where we're gonna put it okay so I've gone ahead and I've purchased the robotics table here so I'm gonna get Elsie to or maybe just tinker with the robotics station so she can get her robotics up and it's kind of cool because this really uh, the 1950s when I was doing research really was the time of science and technology really making it a change for uh, you know technology it was like a big boost in that time so I feel like it makes sense that Elsie would be dealing with the robotics station so what Samuel just said good job to um, Elijah for finishing his homework so I see this kind of going where you know Elsie wants to keep working and continuing to do her job and getting better at her job you know she's invested a lot of time she's learned a lot since she started 
um, working in the factories during the war and she realizes that this is something that actually she really enjoys doing. So, um, you know, she really established her own life and her own independence when Samuel was gone. Uh, so I do think it's important to her that she keeps that and is allowed to continue to pursue her job. Whereas Samuel, I see him potentially being, you know, getting his veterans, um, he will be getting his veterans uh, pension and getting a pay once a week from serving in the war, especially because he was a prisoner of war. He'll probably be getting, you know, taken care of pretty well. Um, and also he's missed so much of his kid's life that he's like, okay, Elsie, you'll be the one that stays home and works and I'll be the one that stays home and take, or you'll be the one that goes to work and I'll be the one that stays home and takes care of the kids. That way I can actually get to know them better. So I think that both of them agree and Samuel's always been the type of guy who wants to support his wife and you know believes in her dreams so now they're actually not married we are gonna have to get them remarried because right now they are just dating there because uh, obviously she thought that he had passed away so she has the deceased spouse about him but now it's boyfriend so i'm thinking we are going to plan a much bigger wedding for them so i feel really bad because um samuel lit the fire and elsie worked so late that he fell asleep so they actually weren't able to have any alone time together so it's the next morning all of the kids are getting ready for school elsie's getting ready for work and i have samuel actually making breakfast because since he is the stay-at-home dad he's going to take on the roles of caring for the house i do think it'll be challenging for him to get comfortable with cooking because of his food prop his food preferences and maybe some of the things that he suffers with when it comes to you know food but um i think that he wants to push through you know at the end of the day samuel is a soldier and he is a very strong independent man so both of these kids are looking super cute oh no we've got a fire Oh, and look, Elsie right away is on it. Samuel discovered the fire, but Elsie is saving him. Can you extinguish your husband, please? Oh my gosh. Oh, I mean, you know, he's trying. So Elsie's like, oh, thank you. I really appreciate you trying to cook for us. <laughs> oh God. So I'm gonna let the kids just go grab some leftovers and same with Elsie because obviously she's super hungry and she has to work soon. So I'm gonna have her have a quick meal. So he's feeling emotionally mindful. Finding emotional control is a journey. You've taken the first step, but to gain true emotional control requires more slow time through various thoughtful activities. So I feel like at least with Samuel, he's recognizing the fact that he probably has a lot of work to do. So both of the kids are going off to school. I feel bad they didn't get to eat before they went to school because of the fire. <laughs> Um, and Elsie is obviously gonna go to work. But now that the kids are off to school, I'm gonna have her come over to Samuel. She's gonna give him a hug and she's just gonna say, you know, I really appreciate that you tried to make everyone breakfast this morning and tried to help out. Um, you know, I really appreciate everything that you've been doing and you know, I know it's gonna take time for you to adjust to, you know, life with us, but I love that you're really trying. And he's like, of course I'm gonna try it. You know, I've always wanted to be with you and I, I wanna be with the boys. You know, I just, I've got some stuff I have to work through. So Elsie's like, well, you know I'm here for you if you need anything. And then she's gonna mention to him that, by the way, it's Jamie's birthday today. Uh, so I want the boys to be able to go over to Nellie's for his birthday party. So they probably will uh, head over there after school and I'll be home late. So Elsie's off to work. So Samuel is like probably feeling like, so I feel like, you know, he's like so excited to try to do better for his family and try to be involved and like everyone all has these plans and he's feeling like, well, you know, what am I supposed to do? What's my role here? Like, I think he's feeling really lost and trying to find his place in society after the war. 
Um, and I know that that's a really big adjustment for veterans because of the fact that they've seen such horrific things and experiences that, you know, for them to just come back and be like, oh, let's make some eggs or let me work a regular job, like that's really hard for them emotionally to come to terms with that. So a lot of times what will happen is they will start going to therapy, but they will also get a support animal. So I thought it would be really cool for us to go ahead and get um, Samuel a support dog and I thought we could make little doodle in the game and get a German Shepherd dog for him to be his like support companion and some you know have something or have an animal and a best friend that can really help him when he's home alone during the day to not feel so lonely or afraid when he goes through those moments where he's having panic attacks or memories of past experiences. So Edward has shown up. Um, I think that these two have a lot to talk about. Now, Samuel, like I said, is a lot more open with his emotions. <laughs> Edward, on the other hand, you can see he's pretty grumpy. I think he's ha still really struggled because like I said in a previous episode, I think that he has really um, held a lot of guilt for Samuel. So Samuel's just gonna say to Edward, you know, thank you so much for stopping by. You know, I really appreciate you taking time to come visit me. You know, it's so great to see you. It's been so long. And Edward's gonna be like, yeah, it's been way too long. I'm like, I'm sorry it took me so long to come. I should have come sooner. And, um, Samuel's gonna say it's okay. I totally understand why it took you so long to come. I get that this whole Situation is a little bit awkward for both of us and you know I don't want you to feel responsible for what happened to me. You know, I was your sergeant not the other way around and I just want the best to happen you know, I just want the, the best for my men and I feel like the fact that you got to come home is exactly what I wanted and Edward's gonna be like well you know I really appreciate the sentiment but you know if I had known you were still alive I wouldn't have come home I really wish I'd stayed and looked for you and so it's very obvious to Samuel that um, Edward is holding on to a lot of guilt for what happened with him. But Samuel definitely wants to make sure because even though Samuel is still struggling with his own emotions and stuff, he, like I said, he was the sergeant. He was the captain. So he still views Edward as his responsibility and to care for him. And he hasn't broken out of that war mindset yet. So he still feels like he's responsible for Edward. So, um, and Edward feels like he failed his captain. So there's a weird bond and relationship between these two that they're, they're relying on each other still, even after war. Um, and I think it's gonna take some time for them to get to a healthy place where they're both um, respectful of each other and open with each other. Sorry about that. My video cam just cut out for a little bit, but Basically, like I said, these two are finding their own ways to kind of come to terms with what has happened and what their experiences have been during the war. But these two kids have just got home from school. It looks like they're fighting. <laughs> um, but it is time for them to head over to Gage's place because it is time for little Jamie's birthday. So they're going to head over together and they are going to go to Jamie's place to celebrate his birthday. Alrighty, so the boys have arrived and it looks like Benny has shown up also, so that's pretty exciting. So I'm gonna get both of the boys to do a friendly introduction to Aunt Nellie because they don't technically know her. So both of them are saying hello and the boys are here. So they'll go ahead and knock on the door, come on in, and we have Gage here. It looks like he just got home from work and it actually looks like dinner has already been served, so that's pretty cool um oh and here is adorable jamie he's just over here okay. super excited um if you saw in the intro for the 50s these kids have all been playing sports together and really enjoying hanging out together um so i'm pretty excited to have them all chill together so max is here they're all eating dinner together um i think that they're pretty excited to celebrate um celebrate Jamie's birthday. I feel like Max is, a, I feel like Elijah and Jamie have a lot more in common than um, Max and Jamie do. I feel like Max is gonna be kind of the odd one out, maybe a little bit of the 
trouble ca ca caused some trouble. So I've got the soccer ball here in Elijah's inventory. So I'm gonna have them all play soccer together. And Samuel has just arrived because he wants to be here birthday. So I'm gonna have him do a friendly introduction to Gage because he's actually never met Gage. So he's gonna say, hi, I'm Samuel. You must be Nellie's uh, friend. <laughs> and Gage is gonna be like, yeah, that's me. It's great to see you. Thank you so much for coming for the kid's birthday. We really appreciate it. I know how much it means to Jamie to have his friends here. Um, so they're just gonna have their little banter. So Jamie and Elijah are practicing soccer in the house. I feel like Emma would, or Alice, um, Nellie would not approve of sports in the house. <laughs> So I'm gonna have him do a friendly introduction also to Nelly because he's actually never officially met Nelly. So Nelly's like, hi, it's so great to meet you. Oh, uncaring. Ooh, I think they did not like each other. Ooh, first impression. Samuel feels like uh, Nelly is annoying and she thinks Samuel is pretentious. Oh my gosh. Nelly, Gage, oh, neither one of them like Samuel. Oh my gosh. But anyways, um, I can't make a cake because I don't actually have the right to cook in this house. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do uh, MC Command Center to age up little Jamie. And then we will jump into create a sim and give him his makeover because he's probably around 15 years old now. So it's definitely time for him to age up. So we're going to go ahead and make Jamie a toddler. Oh my. Did I put toddler? I made teen. Okay, that he looked so funny there for a second. Oh, wow. He is, he looks a lot like James. I see a lot of James in there. He's got James's chin. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, so for Jamie, I've gone ahead, I've given him his bodybuilder and self-assured for his aspiration and his trait because I see him uh, really being inspired by Gage to want to be a police officer. So I feel like he's really gonna wanna be really fit and always working on trying to fight crime. So I am gonna go ahead and give Jamie his makeover and when I am done, I will be right the back. Alrighty, so I just finished doing Jamie's makeover and it was getting so hot in my office. So I do have a fan on now. So if you do hear that, I'm really sorry, but we are having a heat wave where I am and I am hot. <laughs> so I just finished Jamie's makeover and I have to tell you, oh, when I say Elias and Alice's jeans are so strong, like I literally can't get over it. He really truly is an exact mix of the two. It's a really amazing actually. Um, so I tried to make sure to give him the same skin t details between his mom and his dad, uh, James. And I feel like Jamie is definitely, you know, well-dressed, really put together. Um, you know, if you remember when he was a kid, his dad had him in like the fanciest suits. I think his mom would really want him to look smart. But I also wanted to show a little bit of the influence of Gage now that Gage has been in his life. So that's why I kind of have him looking a little bit more cop-like. <laughs> so uh, this is his formal, still a really nice put together suit. Fitness, obviously he's gonna be um, a bodybuilder. So I really wanted to show him in his, you know, fitness look. And the rest of his looks are just casual, but like business casual, you know, like he's just always looking really put together. Um, so I really love how he looks. And I don't know about y'all, but Jamie is like a surprise hitter for me. He was one of those Sims where he was kind of getting lost in the wayside, but then he comes out and he's like, what? I'm good looking and I'm like, oh, hey. <laughs> so let me know what you all think of his makeover. I think he is absolutely fabulous and Gage is looking a little bit older and so is little Nelly Belly. Oh, I just love them. So we will go ahead and jump back into the game. Okay, so the makeover is done. Where is little Jamie? Well, not so little anymore, Jamie, I should say. And by the way, I have some of your Sims in the neighborhood. So as you can see, they are just casually walking around looking absolutely fabulous. So there's a lot of cute girls for Jamie to fall in love in his neighborhood. 
Oh, look at this. Singing is great. Nellie seems to be having a good time singing. Should she gain the like singing preference? Absolutely. We know how much she loves it. So I'm just going to have um, the family go ahead and, you know, congratulate Jamie on his birthday. And, you know, these boys are definitely a little bit younger than Jamie is. So we want to make sure that these, these two kids probably won't age up for another episode or two. So they're all going to say, you know, happy birthday. We're so happy that we were able to be here to celebrate you. And we also have um, Elsie is off work now. So she's going to come in and I'm going to have her um, wish him a happy birthday also. And look at these two giving each other kisses over here just being super cute. So she's going to come in and wish uh, Nellie and uh, Jamie a happy birthday and say hello to Nellie. So Nellie's going to say happy birthday, Jamie. I can't believe how old you're getting. Time goes by way too fast, Nellie. So we're going to go ahead and send this cute little family home because they have school in the morning and I don't think they have their homework done. <laughs> so I will catch back up with you when they get home. Okay, so everybody just got home. Um, this kiddo needs to do his homework, but he also really stinks. So once again, Elsie has been gone all day working so hard and Samuel and her really haven't had a lot of time to grow close. It's midnight and she's still working. So I do think that Samuel is um, having a hard time with that. So I'm going to have him come out and he's actually going to ask about her day and try to, you know, have some form of connection with her. You know, he's really trying to put an effort in. So he's like, hi, you know, how was your day? How's work going? You know, just catching up. He's going to tell her about the fact that Edward stopped by to visit and, you know, things went really good. And she's like, oh, I'm so happy to hear about that, hun. Like, I'm so glad that you were able to catch up with him. I know that that's been kind of hard. Um, and he's going to say, you know, while everyone was gone today, I realized that I think I could really use a support dog. I know a lot of soldiers have them after they come back from war. And I was wondering if you thought that was a good idea. So Elsie's like, I think that is a great idea, love. I think you should do that. So she's really supportive of it and, you know, wanting to do anything she can to help him to feel like, you know, he, he's able to do better in life. So she's definitely supporting him in that. So Elsie has been sleeping all morning and she's got to go to work right away. And I actually feel really bad because Samuel got up as early as he could to try to make breakfast for her and all the kids are off to school again. <laughs> And he is trying his best to, you know, help with the family and they're all off without him. So I think that, you know, him getting the dog will really help him to not feel so lonely. So he's going to eat his breakfast and then I'm going to have him go to the computer and see if there's any German Shepherds that are available for adoption. And if not, we'll go into create a sim and make the dog. I just want to see if there's any German Shepherd dogs. Oh my gosh, there's a bull terrier. Oh my gosh. For some reason, I feel like Zoe would be perfect for him. I know it's not what I had originally planned, but the minute I saw Zoe, I just knew it. So I'm going to have Zoe come for a visit and we'll see if she works. I think this is the adoption agency here already. That's pretty crazy how fast they came. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so we have, oh my gosh, Zoe is so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna have him come over and do a friendly introduction with Zoe. Ooh, she does, oh, she's attacking the adoption agency. We'll have to see how she responds to Samuel. She might not be a very friendly dog. Okay, so we, oh, we just became acquaintances. So let's see if we can go friendly and give a treat. And praise. And get to know her and see if we can get to know some of her traits. I feel like Samuel would want a dog that maybe needs help getting better. You know, a lot of dogs, when they go through, um, when they're rescue animals, 
um, they can sometimes have, you know, a lot of behavioral problems because they were treated poorly from previous people. Um, and he might like that he has to have someone to fix, you know. So we've learned that she's aggressive, but I feel like she could be helped with that. You know what I mean? So I'm going to have him try to get to know more of her traits. So we've learned that she's jumpy. I really feel like she's going to be perfect for him. And we've learned that she's adventurous. Do you know what? I really feel like she might be perfect for Samuel. It gives him purpose, you know, someone to take care of. <laughs> I'm not sure how um, Elsie's going to feel about getting a kid up. Uh, a dog that's aggressive and jumpy with two children in the house <laughs> but I feel like because Samuel hasn't been been a dad for really long um, well he has but he hasn't been an active parent he might not be thinking about those types of things when it comes to adopting a pet so what we are gonna adopt a little Zoe oh my gosh look at him are you sure you want to adopt this pet taking care of a new pet is a big responsibility I think it's exactly what Samuel needs so her name is going to be Zoe Gibbs. Oh, congratulations, you've added a pet to your household. Uh, Max is making lots of friends at school and I think Samuel's pretty happy. I'm gonna have him right away. He's gonna take her out for a jog because he's very active, she is adventurous, and I think that she would really love that. Oh, I'm so happy for Samuel. Look at him just jogging along the water. I mean, if this doesn't help him to heal his broken wounds, I don't know what would. Dogs are absolutely, pets in general, are absolutely amazing for healing us. Oh, I'm just so happy for him. Samuel was waiting for the dog to come back, um, but he had to go pee, so he's ran inside, and Elsie just got home from work. She's feeling really stressed, and as you can see, Zoe is running over here, and she's like, okay, I know he said that we were getting a dog, so maybe this is the dog, so I'm going to have her pet the dog calmly and introduce herself to the dog, give the treat, um, and hopefully it'll go well. So Samuel's like, oh, did you meet Zoe? And she's like, I just saw her outside. I'm going to meet her right now. So I think it's going well. She's being really friendly with us. And it's helping um, Elsie from being tense. Oh, look. Zoe just became friends with Elsie. Oh, I think Zoe likes everybody. Oh, this is good. I'm so glad that Zoe gets along with all the kids. This is awesome. So the family has their new pet dog, Zoe. Samuel's definitely been going through it, and I think this is really going to help him. The boys are both doing good in school, and they got to hang out with their cousin for their birthday. So I feel like it was a really good opportunity for us to see everyone and have some good bonding time with this family. So I hope you all enjoyed enjoyed this part. If you did, please consider giving this video a big thumbs up. It really helps me out and I would appreciate it. And until next time, I am going to say bye for now.